Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the shortage of developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, with so many people trying out coding, why is there still such a big shortage of software engineers? Well, because the standards of the industry is a lot higher than what people think, usually. At least when they start out, they get a very rude awakening for the most time when they actually try to get into the industry. Uh, this is a very popular question. I think I've answered this question in many formats uh, by now. But it continues being a problem, so I will try to answer it again. So the thing is, guys, you will probably... Well, if you are a professional software developer, you should probably know that uh, the difference between the experience that you need in order to work as a professional and the experience you're going to get from, say, a boot camp or you, like Udemy course or like whatever like uh, short-term education that a lot of the people who are interested in coding are taking is pretty wide. You are... I, I to this day, I've never seen any course ever like in in of itself that would teach you all the things that you need to know in order to work as a professional software developer and the thing is that the requirements on junior developers there are even though you might think because that's usually the way we sell these sorts of things that we will teach you some coding and then you will be able to get a job as a software developer but the thing is that what the boot camps and the courses that you're taking are not going to tell you is that the the industry is not looking for junior developers the industry is looking for mid levels and senior developers almost all of them are looking for the experienced developers because nobody really wants to pay for your training now you think you you might think that you have gotten all the training you need by taking this course but that's not so the gap is bigger than that and there's really no way for you to truly bridge that gap by just taking courses or just d doing that sort of thing what you're looking to do is to bridge the the distance that a company is going to have to train you to the shorter to the minimum amount possible you can think it think of it as a little bit as being a doctor where even if you get your me medical license you're going to have to do an internship or something so you get actual hands-on training before you can actually work effectively with patients and stuff like that and that usually requires a hospital to train you in some fashion sure you will be able to produce some value but i can pro i have friends who work in many areas of the world and i can tell you that nobody has ever come up to me and said wow this completely fresh hire that is not even uh, dry behind the ears is helping out so much it's usually a lot of work uh, and uh, a lot of effort to train someone who is completely fresh and most companies don't want to do that in it they want you to already be trained and so the shortage is for the people who have the skills who have already gone through the the crucible of becoming mid-level developers and the, the thing is that if we were completely honest with people who are trying to learn how to code we would tell them that the competition for you to get your entry-level job is actually a lot higher than what you might believe and in many cases it might take you a long time to get your first job. I have friends who have, uh, I think that he, I have two cases, like, and these are not the most extreme cases I know of even, but these are just people that I know, who one dude, he, I think he was looking for two years before he got his first job, and that was at a le really tiny little startup where like, it, they were basically two people. And another dude, I think he, he never got a job. He called me up uh, trying to get an interview, I, I think f six months ago or something like that, and he went to the same school as I did. We have literally the same education. He, f he graduated and everything, and he had apparently gone back to school again to learn, I think, some th something else, and he still wasn't able to break into the industry. I don't know what he's doing today, but I mean... Uh, so so you, there is uh, 
there is a bit of a lie going on or a trend or whatever you want to call it. I'm not say, sure, certain that it is specifically a lie because the boot camps are not really promising. I mean, there are job guarantees boot camps, and you should really be careful with those. But uh, for the most part, I think it's just that the hype just as with all hypes, is so high that people imagine this whole thing being easier or being more straightforward than it is. Some people are very lucky and they do get these sorts of benefits and uh, I'm very sorry to say that I see quite a few of them go on uh, YouTube and in some magical way they have tons and tons and tons of followers and up Apparently they made it to an internship at Google or Amazon and they are just giving away these tips for free. I don't know. Uh, when I hear them speak I usually just uh, can only think of one single thing and that is if it's too good to be true it probably is too good to be true. And the this is something that you will learn. I promise you by if you if you're serious about becoming a software developer you are going to learn this and you're going to learn it either by either the hard way or you're going to learn it the easy way. And I'm not trying to dissuade you, I'm just trying to say to you that from my perspective as somebody who's been working for a few years now and from literally the perspective of every coworker I have, every single one of them, I have never spoken to a professional software developer who didn't get it, who didn't understand what that there is a very big difference between the average skills that you are going to have when you finish a boot camp and the skills that is are required by the companies in order for them to take a chance on you. So what I want you to take away from this is that uh, there is a high demand or there is a shortage of software developers but the problem is that for most of the people who are finding it weird that there's so many people learning how to code yet there's a shortage that what they don't understand is one part that there is an enormous demand like I don't think you understand how big it is but at the same time it's not for every single person who's trying to learn some basic coding it is for the people who can produce professional grade software and those people are rare in comparison because they usually have to go through the same thing as the people who are trying to get into the industry now you have to educate yourself in many cases for a few years uh, statistically it's going to be one to five years and then you have to find an entry-level job and just that in of itself is a very it's a it's a smaller percentage than the people who are hiring mid-levels and seniors which is the it's the norm that's the, where the demand is and if you find such a company you have all these other junior developers who might com compete with you so you really have to stand out in order to get that first job in many cases once you get it and you get a few years of experience on your CV the whole world changes for you that much I can promise you it will change faster than you can possibly imagine because now you're in the club because IT is a big club have a great day